or Bozo. Let's get this one started here. Round one is underway. And we've got a striker who is a force to be reckoned with. Tonight, though, he draws a guy who can do a little bit of everything. And that guy is usually the one that will have the advantage. But we know what a high-level striker is. And this guy is as high-level as we've ever seen in the U.S. Couple of chins here being tested early. It up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Connects with the right. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Look at the control and the posture as that big knee lands. Throws the right hand there. Oh, big roundhouse attempt just misses. Ooh, what a punch. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Oh, look at him land another jab there. He's certainly using that weapon effectively here tonight. The most effective weapon in all of boxing, in all of combat sports, is a jab. This young man has a knowledge of using it like no one else. There's a jab, then another. Barbosa's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Big kick lands. Huge shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that ball. The kill shot is what they call it. We're going in the fight. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's in them. Nice punch by Lee. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Left-right combo is good. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Way to hide that leg kick. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find it. home. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Yeah, left hook found its target. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. So a big knockdown for him, courtesy of that punch in that round. DC, here's a replay. Big moment in the previous round. They were both fighting very well. But when he landed this punch... Okay, you ready? Round two. Ready? Let's All right, let's get to round two. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, nice job to land the knee there by the taller fighter. And I think I just heard Daniel Cormier say, I wish I was a little bit taller. You're a baller, though. Oh, huge spinning kick. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Look at him working and trying to shut the liver down. Hard to get up again, but man. And 
just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Just out of range with that right hand. Oh! He's done, he's done. I'm not sure if that's the way he drew it up, but a huge result for him here tonight as he gets the win by way of knockout. And that's about as good a one-strike finish as we've seen here in the UFC in recent memory. I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming. So a big, big win for him here tonight. And there is our UFC featherweight champion getting the knockout on the biggest stage in the sport. Very impressive result here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliana has called a stop to this contest. At two minutes, 23 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout. And...